Hi everybody, it's Karen here. I'm just starting out with this new scrapbook with me layout I want to share with you today. This layout was from my July of 2022 monthly recap layout and we did this during one of my recent scrapbook with me events. So I'm going to give you a little bit of information on this. So um, what I have here is some a sketch from Basic Gray from Susan Stringfellow and some tools I've pulled out of my stash for the borders as well as the circles a template as well as some circle thin cuts that I've had that I'm work, gonna work with today as well as my, um, like I said, my thin cuts and my white gel pen, which I'm gonna use because I'm gonna do this on a black base page. Now, the papers I have, this is the Four Seasons Summer paper collection from Close to My Heart. And I thought this would be really perfect for the July. I love these, the patterns in this paper and the colors are gonna work really well with the photos I've got and um, with my black base pages. Now, I do my album this year is an eight and a half by 11 album. And so we're gonna be cutting down some of these pieces, but I'm gonna give you sizes for 12 by 12. So this leftmost piece is a one inch wide by 12 inch tall um, piece. Now you can use a double matted base page like they show here where the black piece is your base cardstock and the white is um, an inner piece of paper, inner piece of cardstock or pattern paper. I didn't use that with this one, but just in case you may want to, this is you know, something easy. Now going from left to right on my left hand page, below, below the photos, I've got a piece that is going to be probably about um, three quarters of an inch tall by six inches wide. And then directly below it, four inches wide by two inches tall for that piece. And then they're gonna be echoed on the right hand page. So you've got the top piece being one inch tall by 12 inches wide. And then below that, we're gonna look at an 11 and a half by two. And then um, of course we've got another little board banner piece above that. So, you know, you don't have to have these papers match up, but I'm gonna do that with my layout. And then I've got my border punched pieces below the photo on the right page and to the left on the, um, to the left of the photos on the left page. And both of those are about three quarters of an inch wide. And then my large circle, I'm gonna use my template, but you could create this using some papers um, as such and whatever you've got, if you wanna do some circle rings and everything. And then my various circles, I'm um, gonna use thin cuts to do this, but if you have punches, so my largest one that's half one is gonna be three inches. Then I've got a two inch and a few one and a half inch pieces and one and three quarters and one. So these could be really barely any size. You could use stars for this or anything else that would work for you. And then I've got a couple little banners here that really are perfect for scrap papers. Um, I'm gonna use probably some zip strips for mine to cut them down and see how that works. So I'm gonna start cutting here and get, it, get everything ready. Okay, now that I have all my pieces cut, I'm just gonna start laying them out on the page to see how they look from a um, kind of a dry fit standpoint. So um, I'm gonna work with my photos. Now for this sketch, sketch has four by six photos, but for my eight and a half by 11 album, I'm using four by four photos. And you know, just a couple quick snippets from the month, it was, quiet month, especially after coming back from our trip in June and um, of course having COVID on the way back, but um, we made it through. So I'm looking here to figure out my placement of my photos. Just want to make sure everything kind of lines up. And as I said, I always do this technique where I, before I start to adhere anything to a page, I will dry fit. And that way I can sit and look at something and trim 
the papers down if I need to to the right size trim photos down if I need to to get really what I want out of the layout and it has been a technique that's kind of really worked for me so I'm just gonna trim this paper down a little bit since um, when I first cut it it was a little bit too long and then I'm gonna place it where I want it to go and see if I like it and you know one of the things I love about the double-sided pattern papers is if I think I like a paper how it's gonna look and when I actually go to put it on a layout I realize I don't like it against the photos I can always flip over to the reverse side to see if I like that better and it, it definitely helps me figure out you know my papers and my patterns better and it makes it a little bit more of a variety so I'm gonna trim this other piece here trim that down to a better size for what I'm looking for and that's gonna work for me so now once I have all of these papers dry fit and I like how they're looking I like the sides I'm working at with this I'm just gonna double check it one more time just to make sure that I don't need to trim down my photos and then once I do that and I think I like how this is gonna lay out, then I'm gonna to start to work on assembling this. And so what I'm gonna do is just, once I figured, definitely make sure that it's all set, is that I'm gonna assemble and I'm going to adhere all of the pieces to the page. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add my circle elements to this. Um, I'm gonna use this template and a white gel pen to, I'm gonna draw a couple of circles slightly offset with each other on this. The sketch does show the um, pen marks going over the pictures, but I'm not gonna be doing that with mine. So I'm gonna take my white gel pen which of course I buried underneath my sketch. And I'm gonna do this a couple times. I'm gonna use the inner loop of this. So I'm just gonna do a, a line for this and then I'm gonna go through again and I'm gonna do a dashed line. And I love the look of these white gel pens that we have now close to my heart on black paper. It just makes it pop. I think it's a great um, product to have. And I love the fact that our set we carry has um, three different widths to the gel pens and so you get a variety of what you want so now i'm going to take this since i've done this once and then i'm going to offset it slightly and i'm this time i'm going to do a dashed line you know kind of continue with the faux stitching to give a slightly different look to this as i do this round i love the lurk look of circles on this but this is something where you could use any other kind of shape it could be a, uh, stars, you could do a large star, like would be perfect for like a 4th of July layout, or you could use um, flowers, or you know, if you have like a circular, even like a kind of like a lace doily kind of pattern, um, you could use that, a scallop circle. It doesn't have to be a stitch circle or a circle ring. You could definitely substitute um, if you have a piece of paper or cardstock in that you cut in a circle. So I'm just gonna do two. They do show more lines on this, but I like for this, this worked out well for me. So now that I've got this, I am going to work on getting my the rest of my elements of my page together. I am going to be adhering my uh, title. I'm going to use some thin of foam tape for this, the 3D foam tape we have to adhere my title because I always try to put a little bit of pop to certain elements of my page just to kind of give them just a nice little dimensional quality to it. It doesn't have to be always kind of, you know, what a lot of people call lumpy bumpy. I just like this. I love this 3D foam tape, especially because it, there's we have thin and we have regular, and it just can give you that little bit of an extra element that to just make some of the areas of your page pop. So I'm gonna use the foam tape for this. And then once I do this, 
I am going to add some additional circles that I am going to cut using my um, circles thin cut set from in some of my scratch paper from close to my heart to get a, some additional elements added to this. Okay, now that I have my foam tape on the back of my circles, I'm going to adhere these to my layout. And I'm almost done. My next piece is going to, of course, be my journaling. And I'm going to use the new um, journaling sticker strips from Close to My Heart. These strips um, come six sheets to a package, and they're um, roughly 12 inches long. And there's some of the strips are three quarters, three, sorry, three eighths of an inch tall and some are one quarter of an inch tall, which I think is great. But before I get to that, I am gonna cut a couple of these zip strips to finish off my banners. And now that I have these little banners, I'm gonna dovetail them and then I'm gonna adhere these to the layout. I'm gonna add my journaling and then I'm gonna be all done. I've got all my journaling here and I hope you guys really like this and I hope you stay tuned for another scrapbook process video from one of my scrapbook with me events and for those of you that join me for my event thank you so much for being there with me and if you can't make it you can always watch these process videos they'll be on my blog as well as on my YouTube channel and thank you guys so much again for joining me and I hope you have a wonderful day.